Hello everyone, it's Kim and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my December TBR for you. I am very excited. I am going full out on the Christmassy holiday reads. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into this TBR. Before we dive into the festive reads, I want to go through a couple uh, reads that are required for me for this month. One is my fantasy book club for Patreon. For my patrons and I, we are reading Thread Needle by Carrie Thomas. I am very excited to read this. The cover is stunning. I know that there is a lot of magic talk in it. Um, and I think what really got me was there's a part that has like magical shops, secret libraries, and I'm like, ooh, this sounds good. I like it. Otherwise, I really don't remember much about this book. And that's just like a couple words from the back that like brought me into the into the idea of wanting to read this story. So Threadneedle, Carrie Thomas is my Forget Me Not Fantasy book club pick over on Patreon. If you do want to check out the link will be in the description below. And then the other one is my Patreon pick for the month, the TBR Acorn. Um, I'm gonna pick one of these out. I don't remember what is left in here and I am gonna switch it up for next year on how I do these picks. But let's see what we get. I don't know if any of these are Christmassy at all. I don't think they are. And I really have no idea what is left in here. So my... <laughs> Honestly, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, this this is too good. This is from Chanel. And it is Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Um, this is kind of like a running joke on my channel, similar to The Lights of Prague, where I still have not read this book. I have a hardcover, like, original copy of this. And then I believe in my Truth or Dare, or the book, yeah, the book Truth or Dare, I wrote a note to myself in it. So, um, looks like I will be finally getting to this book this month, so. Ember in the Ashes is the TBR acorn pick. Now on to the festive holiday Christmas books. I am very excited. So these first three are ones that I have not read before. And so I bought them last year for a video, but that video has now turned into this year's video. And so I will be reading and doing a little holiday vlog for The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. This is one that, let's see. I think I was gifted this one year. Oh yeah, this was a giveaway from Krista. So that was my prize for winning was a book off of my wish list and this was that one. So The Holiday Switch. And I don't actually, I honestly, you know what? I don't remember what any of these are and I'm not even gonna find, I'm not gonna look. I wanna go into them blind. So we have The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello will be my first new Christmassy read. Then we have my first ever Christina Lauren book in a holidays. Um, I, I'm excited to read this one. This one has been on my radar for quite a while and I'm, I'm excited for, I think my first Christina Lauren book to be like a Christmassy holiday read. So in a holidays is on the list as well. And the final one for these new to me holiday reads is going to be A Cat Cafe Christmas by Cody Gary. Um, it's a cat cafe at Christmas. Need I say more? I am very excited about this one. Um, I'm getting the vibes of a very like hallmarky, maybe, 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 maybe a little spicy. I actually don't know. Are we gonna have some spice in here? We're we just gonna have a lot of really cute cats at Christmas, which is perfectly fine too. But I'm feeling hallmarky. Maybe, maybe there's a little. I don't know. Maybe there's a little spice in it. I don't actually know. Um, but yes, a cat cafe at Christmas is book number three of the holiday reads. These next three are rereads for the holidays and. I try to read these every couple years. One I like to read every single year. Usually on Christmas Eve I try to read it. Um, I don't know, it's just a very short, sweet, fun story and I like to um, reread it during this time of year. So the first one on this list is going to be One Day in December by Josie Silver. 
this is about Lori and Jack and they see each other um Lori is on the bus and she sees Jack and their eyes meet and it's like that instant connection right you're like oh no the bus is moving I'm never gonna see this man again and that is that is very much the feeling that she has she is like oh, I wish I could find him and her friend Sarah is like you need to find this guy and and lo and behold um Sarah's really excited to introduce Lori to her new boyfriend and that man is Jack the guy from the bus stop what are the odds right and so it just follows the tribulations of friendship and love and this kind of not necessarily love triangle but like there's a lot of, there's some drama that happens and it does focus quite heavily on the holiday season a little bit because that one day in December definitely changed the course of both of their lives. So the next one that I want to reread this holiday season and I and not that I want I like I need to reread this I really want to read this one this year and that is The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. This is a retelling of the Christmas Carol and it says every Scrooge deserves a second chance and Holly um, was the Scrooge. She was visited by the ghosts and she didn't change her ways and so unfortunately she ends up dying and then she begins working for project scrooge as the ghost of christmas past she is the new ghost of christmas past and this is how her afterlife entails during that holiday season so it's really good it's a fantastic fantastic book and if you haven't heard of it and you haven't read it i highly recommend checking it out for this time of year so the afterlife of holly chase by cynthia han i if I don't read this this month, I'm gonna be really mad at myself because I'm very excited to reread this one. And finally, my Christmas Eve book that I enjoy reading each year is What Light by Jay Asher. Now, this is about a girl whose family owns a Christmas tree farm and every year of the holidays, they take their Christmas trees over to California and they set up a little Christmas tree stand. And there's just, I don't know, it's. For some reason like every time I read this it makes me it honestly makes me want to move somewhere where I can have a Christmas tree farm. I It's just so cozy and the atmosphere is very like warm. There is a little bit of like romance and drama and that kind of thing but it's very subtle. It really like focuses on forgiveness and family and love and uh, I don't know it just it just gives me a good feeling going into Christmas Eve and so Christmas tree farms love family cute settings I, I don't know I just love it so this is the other one that I like to reread uh, every year all right so <laughs> to recap what we have going on for the month of December um it's a lot, but I have a feeling that because they are a lot of romancy, Christmassy holiday reads, it's not it's not too bad. The the tough part will be getting through these bottom two right here. So for my <laughs> December TBR, we have An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, Thread Needle by Carrie Thomas, One Day in December by Josie Silver, The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand, What Light by Jay Asher, The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello, In a Holidays by Christina Lauren, and A Cat Cafe Christmas by Cody Gary. So all of these fantastic books. I'm so excited for December. I have finished my Goodreads goal, which I think really just takes the pressure, not even Goodreads goal, just my overall reading goal for the year is done. Um, and so it kind of just takes that pressure off and just lets me enjoy the books that I want to read. And I'm all about, obviously, the Christmassy reads this month. Um, so let me know in the comments what you plan to read. Are you reading Christmassy books? Are you just not reading at all? Are you taking the month off to just relax before 2024? Let me know how you're feeling about your reads this month. And if you just want to let me know that you are here, drop a snowflake. Drop a snowflake emoji help me manifest some snow down here in the south. So I hope you all have a wonderful December and happy reading. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.